I think both of us broke down. The magnitude of, you know, getting an Olympic medal would have been amazing. I was happy that tennis after Olympics was not shown in the country. My wife being a psychologist also really helped in the way of communicating yeah. on how I was feeling. What happens when, when you know, you lose the Olympics in 2016 uh, and uh, with Sanya and, you know, they've had a bad day at my office. It's not the whole world is getting to know of it. Uh, but anything that you are having a bad day, the whole country is getting to know of it. What happens then in, in a situation like that when uh, you've the whole world has seen you not being able to get to the point where you came so close to? Uh, we had, I think, a really, really tough, tough time uh, in uh, Rio. I think both of us broke down and it all happened after the press conference also because you go immediately <clears throat> uh, as an athlete after a match, all these obligatories which to go and talk, you know, yeah. answer these questions, media, do your interviews. And when it came off that, we were just there by ourselves and, you know, we broke down. It was the t toughest, heartbreaking loss, you know, because we were that close and as an Tennis play, we know we were that close, mm. right? The magnitude of, you know, getting an Olympic medal would have been amazing for the sport in the country itself. And, you know, everybody just writes you off after that. And, you know, you just go through the most difficult time. It took a long time when we got back on the circuit to, uh, you know, but our friendship was extremely good, you know, because the first time I played with Sanya was when she was 14 years old uh, and I was 21. We played a tournament together. So I think that, you know, friendship really built. A, how, how do you recover from something like this, Rowan? You know, uh, my wife, Supriya, and my coach, Scott Davidoff, they were there at that point of time, which was which was needed. And that was a, probably the first time in my career I was happy that tennis after Olympics was not shown in the country. Mm. Because everybody forgot who you are. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm going through the journey, nobody's watching. Nobody knows which tournament you're playing. Like you said, your private life, you know, nobody knows what's going yeah. on. But our private life is is seen yeah. and uh, you know it's there the vulnerable moments you know are captured that feeling even though it's an individual sport that they, you need a great team to be around and uh, these two uh, people have played a tremendous of a role and uh, somewhere I feel uh, my wife being a psychologist also really helped in the way of communicating yeah. on how I was feeling. Mm -hmm. 